in December 2019, I finished writing the youth curriculum, which is an ebook designed to help coaches develop their own curriculums for their teams. It has different tactical, technical, and cognitive and physical moments, which are all very important part of a curriculum. The aim of the curriculum is for is to help the coach decide which moments they find are most important in their different context and work on them systematically over the course of a week, a month or a season. Without having a curriculum or a systematic plan, the danger is that the coach will just revert back to what they always do and what they always have done. So they will not cover all the different tactical, technical, uh, psychological moments. Before starting with all of this, it's important that we have the starting point of a football action. The aim of every football training is to improve the football actions of the team. This is based on theory from Raymond Verheyen, but it's it's heavily linked to <coughs> theory on perception action coupling. So we can see that communication is the starting point of all actions. It's the player looking around, collecting information, thinking, how can I help the team in this moment? And then he may or they make a decision they execute the decision and the football fitness element which is the repetition of this by seeing this list of this hierarchy within a football action within every football action we can tell that when we plan sessions the communication the team tactics should be our starting point and then within the tactical topic, we can focus on different technical or um, cognitive or physical moments within that. Therefore, this model proposes a 14 session cycle with different tactical topics. This more uh, this webinar will go into a little bit more depth on the tactical topic when our goalkeeper has the ball. That's one of the 14 sessions within the cycle. Once the cycle is done, after the 13 other sessions, we would repeat it and hope to see some progress within each of the different topics. Obviously, it's up to every coach who reads this to adapt this to their own team to their own context the topics here and the prioritization is from my fictional club monkwold fc and are mostly my preferences and it is up to every coach to adapt them into their club reality in their context of their team So when our goalkeeper has the ball, there are some technical recommendations. We can work with preparing to outplay, which links heavily to the positioning, the body positioning and the scanning of the players around the ball. Or it can go, it can be receiving skills, it can be passing skills, it can be lots of different technical um, technical abilities within our curriculum. And it is up to the coach to decide which is most suitable within the session that they have planned. To the left there you see some of the principles within our style of play, which would also be the learning outcomes of a session. So when when I would coach a session with this as a topic, very often if the goalkeeper just kicks the ball away with no no intention of playing to a teammate 
I would give the ball to the other team's goalkeeper. And I would make a point of it is the teammate's responsibility of giving the goalkeeper better options. And then you can look on the on the pitch here on the right side and you can see the different body positioning, the different positioning of the teammates around the goalkeeper here. And you can see that it's up to the teammates to give him to give the goalkeeper good enough options so that we can play out with control. These principles here stay the same regardless of whether you play 11 v 11, 77, 5 v 5, 3 v 3. It really doesn't matter. The principles stay the same the whole way. And the players will learn to understand this by repetition in play and by the coach making good coaching points throughout. You see here now all the players are in good position to receive the ball and play forwards. The goalkeeper then chooses to play a short pass to their center back. And now this is still the same topic. It's just a little bit of a continuation. And the teammates now have to get into new positions. Still with the body positioning facing forwards. Still ready to play forwards. And now, now um, they have moved to give the center back good options on the ball. So that we can keep, keep bringing the ball out of defense. And now that the players understand how this looks in a game, we can make exercises working on the different technical moments. And we can put two defenders in the middle of this box and we can say it's a 4v2 rondo. Uh, we can put some mini goals for defenders and we can play 4v4. As long as the players still relate where this happens on the pitch, where it is, and uh, their playing position in that moment then they should be able to transfer the tactical and technical behavior from the exercise into the big game and you, within this small exercise you can focus on technical moments like preparing to outplay receiving passing and then bring that into your big game in the session uh, this was a short um, this was a short look into quite a big ebook hopefully you found this interesting if you did check it out on the website here 